Hi, this is Bob Cohen, and uh, I'm going to do a real short video. I just purchased this uh, Austin and Hellick muzzle loader, and as you can see, this is uh, this is a beautiful rifle or muzzle loader. I just purchased this at a secondhand uh, outdoor shop, and I thought uh, I should clean it, and so. What I want to do is show you how to take the bolt out of this gun because it's a little bit tricky and then I'm going to go into how to take the bolt apart and clean it. So the first thing you do is you bring this up, your bolt up, and you slide it back slowly but you keep pressure, downward pressure on the bolt and you'll feel it click down and the bolt will come out. And when you put it in, you just kind of look for that sweet spot and you'll feel it. So again, up with the bolt, down with, with word pressure till you feel the click and the bolt will come out. It took me a while to figure that one out. Anyway, uh, I'm going to go to the next step and that's uh, to take this bolt apart and uh, show you how to clean it. Okay, so we got the bolt out. As you can see here, because of this space between the shroud and the bolt, that uh, it's in the lock position. And you can see that there's a little indent here, right here, that this shroud fits into. So the first thing we're going to do is you're going to take a 564 Allen wrench right here, and you're going to remove that Allen screw. We're going to do that. We'll set that aside. Okay, now this this gun comes with a tool kit so that you can do all this in the field. Um, but I'm going to use a uh, 7 16 uh, socket here on a quarter inch drive. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold this shroud in that indent and I am going to place my socket I'll, I'll show you here over the firing pin and I'm going to back this out a little ways okay now I'm going to put it in the decock position, like that. That's the decock position. And this is a healthy spring in here. When we put this back together, it's, it's really tough to get that shroud back into position. There's our firing pin, firing pin spring, and you can take the shroud off the back. And in this rifle, I've already cleaned it, but it was pretty dirty on this shroud, and the inside of this was actually, in fact, I still see a little bit of rust in there. Let me just take this real quick. I got a piece of, of uh, Scotch-Brite here. I'm just going to take this in here, like so. Yeah, that looks really good. Okay, so to reassemble this, we're going to put our shroud in. Let's use a little bit of just a, a drop of oil there. We're going to put our shroud in like so. We're going to put our spring back in and then we're going to put a little drop of oil on the threads here. For the firing pin. And we're going to 
take our quarter inch and we're going to start screwing this in. And of course you can see this is in the uncocked position. I can feel it tightening up there. So now we're going to stick this in the cock position because that's where you're going to adjust your your uh, firing pin. Now this is a little bit tricky. And it's a little bit tough. You've got to pull this shroud back and this has to go into the indent up here and this spring is healthy. I'll try and do it on camera, no promises, because this is, uh, like I say, this has got a real healthy spring in it. Okay, there we go. It's in. Um, so now what we're going to do is we're going to adjust the firing pin. And what you got to do is you got to hold this shroud and keep it from rotating back into the uncocked position. So we're going to put a little pressure on this with my thumb and I'm going to turn this in. What you're looking for is this is your firing pin and it should be flush with the bolt here. So I'm going to turn it in here. Make sure to keep pressure on that shroud because it'll go into the uncocked position, then you'll have to recock it, and that's a real pain. So here we go. That looks pretty good. I'm gonna use a straight edge here and see. You can see here. That's right on the money. So anyway, that's that's how you do it. We got to put our little Allen screw back in here that locks the firing pin down. Again, that's a 564 Allen screw, an Allen wrench. And there you go, your bolt is back together. It took me a while to figure all that out, but we got her done and I just wanted to share it with you guys, just in case any of you guys happen to have one of these muzzle loaders. And I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, I'll be seeing you on the next one.